But performance-wise, I think this phone, like I said, it, it surprises me more than it doesn't. And I think I did compare the Note 20 versus the S8 in a speed comparison. I don't, maybe I did, maybe I didn't. And I just did, maybe I did that like a month ago, I don't remember. But this thing has that Qualcomm Snapdragon 835 chipset and octa-core CPU and and 4 gigs of RAM on the only model that it's supported with. And what I can tell you about this whole entire phone experience is that I think for the most part, it gets the job done. It definitely gets a thumbs up for me on my books in terms of the performance aspect. It's not the best performing device. It's really not even probably the best performing device of the 2017 era. I'd honestly probably give that to the Pixel 2 or 2XL for being still extremely smooth. But I think when it comes down to the performance, if you install that custom launcher on it, I think you can probably be pleasantly surprised you know, games still play on it, you know, obviously. I don't know when Android 9, that expiration date, is going to come from apps in the App Store. But I think when you're using this device and you're going through day by day, you're really going to have a pretty decent experience. Now, I want to preface this whole entire thing by saying I'm probably overhyping it up. And I actually, I know I'm overhyping it up because it, it's not something I would use every day. I wouldn't want to use this device, especially even if you just go to like a Galaxy S9 or Galaxy S10, you'll have a phenomenally better experience. But I think when you think back to 2017, and you think back to the Pixel 2s and the iPhone 8s and the 8 Pluses, this really is kind of in that same ballpark. It's not really crazy below it. It's definitely not the fastest phone of 2017, but I think even being in, you know, 2020, going into 2021, I don't think this is a bad performing phone. And I've said, you know, things like it before that, oh, it's good, oh, it's not, it's not. I think it's for a three-year-old phone, almost going to be a four-year-old phone, I think it's better off than not. I don't think it's the best. And I wouldn't use this phone right now in 2020, but, you know, games still play on it, like I stated before. Apps still open, you know, things are still supported. Apps are still getting updated through the App Store. So for the most part, you're probably going to be okay. But like I said before, it would not be my first choice of picking up this specific phone in terms of the performance over any other phone in my opinion. Now with that being said, if you're still using a Galaxy S8, I would love to know how your experience has been <laughs> because I don't think it's going to be the best. But I think for a majority of people, like I stated, you're probably not going to be extremely happy, but you're probably not going to be super upset either. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up.